F1 fireball survivor Grisjean realizing Le Mans dream. Romain Grisjean whose Formula 1 career ended in flames at the Bahrain Grand Prix in 2020 is among a posse of F1 drivers competing in this weekend's Le Mans 24 hours race. The 92nd edition of Motorsport's Mythic Endurance Test has lured no fewer than 18 ex-F1 drivers. Chris Jean who is sharing the driving of one of Lamborghini's two cars in the elite hypercar category is joined by 2009 F1 world champion Jensen Button behind the wheel of one of Porsche's six entries. NYCK Debris abruptly sacked by Alfa Tori after 10 races in his rookie 2023 F1 season is driving a Toyota while Mick Schumacher is in an Alpine. While many F1 drivers have been seduced by the magical race that sets off at 1400 hours o'clock GMT Saturday and concludes 24 weary hours later only 5 have succeeded in adding their name to its illustrious role of honor. Mike Hawthorne was the first in 1955 followed by Phil Hill in 1958, 1961 and 1962 Joachim Rindt, 1965, the Graham Hill in 1972 with Fernando Alonso winning for Toyota in 2018 to 2019. For Grisjean the very notion of taking part at Le Mans was the furthest thing on his mind as he made a miraculous escape from a terrifying fireball when his Haas car split in two in a high-speed first lap crash in Bahrain four years ago. It's amazing to make my return to France and see the French fans. I never thought I'd have the chance to see them again after my Bahrain accident when they watched me on television jumping away from my little barbecue he reflected on Friday. Chris Jean who has recently been competing in the Indy series in the United States took part in Le Mans in a junior category back in 2010. I've had the luck to take part in the Monaco Grand Prix the Indy 500 and now Le Mans in the elite category said the 38-year-old. That's really something exceptional. When I was a kid I could never have imagined this. Unique. When I drove here in 2010 one of my first thoughts was that I wanted to return to drive in the top class. It's taken me 14 years but I've made it. It's a race unique in the world. I'm thrilled to be with Lamborghini the aim now is to finish the race and to work well with my teammates. Also among the 186 intrepid drivers who will receive their starting orders from French football icon Zendine Zidane are three women, Sarah Bovy Rahel Frey and Michelle Gadding. This trio sharing the driving for Lamborghini in the GT3 category add to the list of only 66 women to compete in the race held at the Sarth circuit since the inaugural edition in 1923. Our aim is to say to young girls that anything is possible that if they want to pursue a career in motorsport women have their place in it said Belgian Bubby. The goal is obviously to do better than last year when we finished fourth. In any case we are not here to string together pearls she added. The LE Mans weekend pulled in a record crowd of 325.000 for its centenary edition last year all descending on the town in the west of France equipped with tense liquid sustenance and lots of coffee to keep them awake during the night. Ferrari took the centenary race honors and are hoping to make it back-to-back -back triumphs. The celebrated Italian Marks two cars start from the second row after Porsche nabbed pole position in qualifying on Thursday with Cadillac sharing the front row. In keeping with the tradition of securing a star name to act as starter Zidane succeeds Lebron James who carried out the duty 12 months ago. Other starters have included Brad Pitt, Rafael Nadal and in 1971 Steve McQueen. On today's episode of On The Clock Kristen Peek is joined by Swish Cultures founder and CEO Jordan Richard to discuss international prospects and big American names in the 2024 NBA Draft. The top 60 players and ties will make it to the weekend at Pinehurst No. 2. Round 2 of the 124th US Open is underway. The Kansas City Chiefs received their Super Bowl championship rings in a private team ceremony before revealing the ornate design of the jewelry for the public. The Panthers are one win away from their first Stanley Cup title. McElroy and Patrick Cantlay share a one-stroke lead going into Round 2 of the US Open. After the announcement of Jerry West's death on Wednesday the basketball world took time to pay their respects to the late legend. In today's edition, Meet America's Cricket Team Christian Pulisic interview Pinehurst in photos Hot Dog King gets banned and more. There's little if anything left for Kels to accomplish on the football field. 
At the same time there's a lot for him to walk away from. The Niners running back doesn't worry about tempting fate. Nathans is really going to ban 16-time champion Joey Chestnut over a simple sponsorship conflict? That's just un-American. USA Basketball Selection Committee Chair Jen Rosati said they didn't consider anything but basketball when making their roster decisions. The United States Golf Association paid tribute to the late golfer who had earned his way into the US Open. This was not your typical Vertappen snoozer. Ten members of the 1983 NC State men's basketball team are suing the NCAA for not compensating them for using their names images and likenesses to promote college basketball.